celebrating 60 years of innovation and one constant mission to serve our community and bring your stories to life. This is KOCO5. Well, she was someone a lot of Oklahomans grew up with. Ida B was a critical part of the early days of KOCO. She hosted her own show and she brought many celebrities here to Oklahoma. KOCO's Ariel Russia had a chance to sit down with her. Her name synonymous with three decades of KOCO history. For Ida B, every minute on TV was personal, a private moment with her viewers, and so much more. Every time I was on TV, my daddy was on the other side of the camera. And I know what television meant to him. A lot has changed at KOCO since those days. Her debut, playing a teacher on the beloved kids show, Romper Room. Later, her interviews on the Ida B show, making her a household name. Ida, a single mom and working woman. So I cooked and exercised and all these women things, but I had cartoons that made up 51% of my show. A trailblazer, even if she doesn't want to admit it. I never felt any limits, even in those olden days. And I never felt like being a female was secondary. For Ida B, her tenure on KOCO may not have been groundbreaking by design, but her programs like Romper Room and the Ida B Show shattered barriers for women in Oklahoma media. The lessons often learned the hard way, live on TV. I had exercise on my show and I wore a red leotard and it turns flesh colored on t black and white TV. <laughs> They called me in and said, you look like you were nude. <laughs> I went, oh, well, you learn. Her humor and humility. I've never been uh, snooty, never thought I was pretty. I never did. Endearing her to generations of Oklahomans. What was your favorite thing about TV? My heartbeat. <laughs> Ariel had so much fun interviewing her. She said she's still just a spitfire. She loved getting the chance to sit down and talk to her. To this day, everybody loves Ida B. Absolutely. You know, Always her son is actually the director of the History Center, of yeah. course. He grew up around so, so much history. history. Yeah. yeah uh, we want to talk weather right now.